Hi guys, welcome back to Edgerlid's YouTube channel. My name is Patricia Bermudez and I will be your host for today's video. And for today's video, we will be using the ideal gas equation to find the molecular formula of a compound. So the problem states that a certain compound contains 85.71% carbon and the balance hydrogen. When a sample of this compound was cooled to its normal boiling conditions of negative 32.86 degrees Celsius, and one atmosphere, its density was found to be 2.134 kilogram per cubic meter just before it began to condense. Determine the molecular formula of this compound. So from the first sentence, we know that it contains 85% carbon and the remaining, when we say the balance, we say the remaining is already hydrogen. And um, the only two elements that are present in this compound is are carbon and hydrogen. So the molecular formula will take this form. We have carbon, and then we have a subscript that we don't know yet. And then we have hydrogen, and then we have another subscript that we still need to find. And our goal here, our goal here is to find how much is x and how much is y. And to find that, we have to first find the molecular weight of the compound itself. So first, we're going to list down the given values that we have. We have the temperature is um, negative 32.86 degrees Celsius. We have um, pressure at 180 M. And we have density. That is... 2.134 kilogram per cubic meter. So how are we going to use um, the ideal gas equation to find the molecular weight? We know that PV is equal to NRT, right? And then from this triangle, if we have the mass of something of a compound and divided by um, the number of poles that it contains, then we will get the molecular weight, right? Because molecular weight natin is represented by grams per mole. And we can represent grams by the mass and then the number of moles by N. So N divided by N will give you the molar weight. And in this equation, what is present here? We have N, diba. Right? So how are we going to represent N using M and molecular weight? In this triangle here, this line represents um, division, so divide. And then this line represents uh, multiplication, so you times. So to get N, we have mass divided by the molecular weight. Okay? So the next step that we're going to do is substitute this here in this um, ideal gas equation. So PV is equals to mass divided by the molecular weight times RT. Okay? And then, since our goal is to find the molecular weight, we're going to make this the subject of the equation. So this one, we're going to bring it over here. And then yung PV, we're going to bring it underneath here. So yung molecular weight is equals to itong, um, nasa numerator na to, retain siya. So M RT over PV. And we know that density is equals to mass over volume. Correct? Right? So we can use this here to substitute for density. Okay? So we have molecular weight is equals to density. The universal gas constant R and then T divided by the pressure. So this is the formula that we're going to use to find the molar weight of the compound. So for the molecular weight, we have molecular weight is equals to rho RT over P, right? So ang density natin is um, 2.134 kilogram per cubic meter. And since um, our goal is to find the molecular weight, which is in terms of grams per mole, we have to convert this kilograms by um, to grams. So one kilogram 
is equal to 1,000 grams. Okay? And for this one, the R that we're going to use is um, 0 0.08206 liters ATM per mole Kelvin. Kasi ang pressure natin is in ATM, so it'll be convenient for us. And since yung um, unit ng volume there is liters, you have to convert meter cube into liters as well. So we know that um, 1 meter cube is equals to 1,000 liters. And now we're going to multiply by the um, uh, last constant, which is 0 0.08. Meters again per mole Kelvin. And then after that, ito ko na lang tutuloy, okay? Pero nakamultiply pa rin siya. Time is yung temperature natin. And since this one is in Kelvin, you have to convert the temperature in Kelvin as well. So it's negative 32.86 plus 273.15. And then this is in Kelvin. And then everything here is divided by 1 ATM. Okay? So, ito yung fraction bar natin. Lahat tong to, nakamultiply. So, we're gonna do some unit cancellation, cancellations here. So, um, kilogram makakancel, meter cube makakancel, um, liters makakancel here, and then yung um, ATM, since this one's in the numerator and this one is in the denominator, you can cancel that. And then yung Kelvin here, kakancel. Kasi ito nasa denominator, but this one's in the numerator. So ang matitira ay um, per mole here, and then we have grams. So yun yung unit ng molecular weight ng compound. So getting the molecular weight, we have Yeah, 40, 42, 0 0.07, 86, 3, 3, 2, 5 grams per mole. And now we're going to find the mass of carbon atoms here. So the mass of carbon atoms. is 85.71%, so we divide by 100, times the weight, this one, 42.07863325 grams per mole. So, ang mass of carbon atoms natin is... Thirty six point zero six five five nine six five six grams per mole. And since one carbon atom is equal to um has a mass of 12 grams per mole. So, ilang carbon atoms ang meron in this 36? So, we have, so the number of carbon atoms is equals to, when we divide this here, 36.0655 grams per mole divided by 12 grams per mole we can see na makakancel yung grams per mole, right? Kasi may present siya in the numerator and denominator makakancel. So yung number lang talaga, na unitless ang matitira. So 36 divided by 12, we have 3. We have 3. So we have found the value for, we have this one, right? 
cx is equals to hy. So yung x natin is equal to 3. That is here. The value that we found here. Okay? And then, now, yung mass naman ng hydrogen atoms natin ay mass of hydrogen atoms is equal to, you take 42 minus this. Or you can take um, the remaining percentage of the 100, then you multiply by the um, mass of the compound. So this one, I'm just going to do some multiplication again. So 100% minus 85.71, we have 14.29%. So 14.29%, um, so you divide by 100. Then you multiply by the weight, which is 42.07086325 um, grams per mole. 7863325 per mole. So the mass is equals to 0.01303. Zero three six six nine one grams per mole. And we know that one hydrogen atom has a molecular weight of one gram per mole. So number of H atoms is six point zero one three zero three six six nine one grams per mole divided by 1 gram per mole. And you see na makakanselidate yung units here. So, ang number of hydrogen atoms natin ay 6. Um, rounded off. Ito ay rounded off. So, then, so this one is rounded off. Either you round off or you round up, okay? Especially when the value is like 5.99 or 3.99, then you round it up to um, 6 and 4 respectively. So we have found the value for our y. So the molecular uh, formula is... Where the compound is C3H6. So, you know, we have found that. And that is our solution for the problem. I hope you learned a lot from today's video. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for the next one. Bye-bye.